Now we're maybe at the more fun parts of Django. Um, you can see that we have the object here for the image. And if you look back at the models, there's this image. That's how we're getting the URL. The URL attribute is, uh, it's an attribute of the image uh, data type for this image field. But we also have title and summary. It's the title of the image. So let's add it in. Double curly brackets for a variable. It's a Python variable that's being passed to it. So we, we passed it in views dot pi. We, we have the the one object for that we caught up with the image ID here and we're passing it to the template a details page. So the three parameters for render is request, it's the template, which is the HTML file, and then we, we have this dictionary that has the object for the image. So we have it now in details. We can use all the models. So this is the variable that we passed it. Title. Boom, the title works. We can also just add the title to the title of the web page itself, which is in the top tab. Right now it says details page, I'll reload it. Boom, it has the title of the image. Can add the summary. So if uh, <clears throat> you're watching, you'll probably see that I just type P and enter. So in, I'm using VS Code, so there's a bunch of shortcuts. That's how I'm able to type in the HTML so rapidly. Let's put the summary here. So it's a variable name, dot. It's the field from the database. Your fields are in the models.py file, right? So it's the name of the variable right there. Boom, you've got the summary information here. So let's make it a bit more fun because on the, the front page, we've only got these four images. It's loading a bit slowly because of the video capture software I'm using. Let's add some more. If you recall, Django is very cool because it comes pre-made with a admin application. We didn't have to build this thing. And it's listed four images here. We can change this so that it's actually listed image title, but let's add a couple more images. So I'm going to load this one. My daughter took this when she was in elementary school, middle school. It's of the uh, Cantor Arts Museum on Stanford campus. No, she's not a Stanford student. We're just at the museum. Use the Rico Theta S. Let's 
check out the site. New image we just added. Evolution is taking a while. It looks pretty good. There she is. These rocks are actually quite small. We, we just have the camera pretty close to it and we're taking it with a mobile app. So let's add one more so that we have actually a six image grid on the front page. So I'll put one with a watermark um, to kind of simulate a professional photographer's site where you, know, you want some preview images of your work, but you don't you don't want people to use it uh, without getting a license from you. So the watermarks are actually applied with um, Django. You can process the images after upload. Okay. It's looking good. Let's um, make the details page look a bit nicer in the next video.